yes you lot what you're saying if you guys have came from an instagram account tgfx then welcome this is basically the youtube channel for it we're going to be showing behind the scenes of all the cover art and portraits i do so if you'd like that then feel free to stick around and yeah let's, uh, let's stop waffling jump into it All right then, so to kick off the first video, I want to do a speed art slash tutorial slash like process thing of a, of a little peep portrait I've done. Hopefully you guys like it. If you do, let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, let's just jump to it. So to start off, I wanted to find a picture of Lil Peep where the crybaby tattoo was quite prominent. I found this one, he's got half his head split off, but I thought let's just go with it. It kind of added to the effect anyway in the end, so I'm not that mad. And then I just used an eraser on hardness zero and blended in the foreground to the background. Then with the hue and saturation, I wanted to find like a blue whimsical sort of effect. So uh, I got it in the end, but oh mate, honestly, it took me way too long. Like I had to speed it up just for you guys. <laughs> right, so for the eyes of this, I'll quickly just stop the whole thing going so I can speak to you guys through it. Um, I got inspiration from King Jediah. He, I think that's how you pronounce his name anyway. He's a sick artist on Instagram and he's just killing the game at the minute with all his like portrait work. Um, so he does like these glowing eyes of like all these different artists. And I just took massive inspiration was like, yo, that's sick. Let me do the same thing. So that's what I tried to do here. Um, so yeah, I just used a pen tool and then circled around Peep's eyes and filled it in with a solid block color. Done it exactly the same uh, with the other eye. And then using blending options, I gave it an outer glow and then an inner glow of like blue. And then the outer glow was like white. And yeah, I changed the opacity a bit just so it's not like as hard. And yeah. Okay, for the next part, I wanted to go with this crybaby tattoo and uh, <laughs> mate, like honestly, it's such a shambles. I tried to go over it first using the magic wand tool, just picking up like the black areas. That didn't work at all. So I completely got rid of that. Like it literally just looked like glue on his face or something like proper weird. So I got rid of it. Then tried to go over it again using the brush tool and like oh, it just wasn't, it wasn't working. So I just gave up completely and then realized I should just use a PNG image, get rid of all the white space, and then just use the warp tool to uh, to move it over his head, like in the right way I want it. But before I actually went through with it, I had to make space on the forehead, which is what I realized after. So I used the stamp tool, I think it was, and honestly, like, this is my first time using this tool, so. I kind of I kind of messed it around a little bit but um, I got there in the end but yeah you basically just make like little circular areas which you want to cover and drag in parts of the photo that you want it to like blend in with so I just picked like different bits of his forehead and I mean it worked in the end but it's yeah man like it, it wasn't the smoothest technique now to make it glow I literally done the same thing that I did with the eyes and just go into blending options give it a white outer glow I think I gave it like a little blue inner glow as well um, and just change like the opacity a bit until you're happy with it and yeah now with the rest of the tattoos like this little horse shoe i think it is in the middle of his eyes or whatever um literally the same process but to make the actual shape again a bit of a shambles i made like the shape i wanted and then i made a black shape on top of it changed the size a little bit and then got rid of the black leaving the white surrounding uh, I think I honestly done it like the slowest way possible. There's probably a much quicker way of doing this thing um, But that was just me winging it <laughs> just trying to see how it went With the eyes I went into the liquify tool and just dragged down the middle parts Which I wanted to make it look like it was like drooping or crying or whatever I think it was a pretty cool effect. I'm quite happy with how it turned out these like side tattoos on his face a heart and a little star um, as you can see, that star was terrible. Uh, I go back into it in the end. Okay, with the background, again, like, I wanted to find something like quite whimsical and like fantasy. Found this, it was perfect. It had particles and everything, exactly what I wanted. So as I'd done at the start using the background blend into the foreground, I'd done with this. Uh, just use a razor on hardness zero again, um, just to give it like that nice blend. And then I wanted to make little peeps sort of stand out from the background. So I used a black brush tool and just painted really softly behind him again on, I think it was like hardness zero. Um, and that just gave it like a nice shadow effect. Then I wasn't too happy with like how bright the background was. So I just done a whole black layer over it and then changed the opacity down a bit just so I could like darken the whole image. Now to make the tattoos glow, I kind of gave up with the effect I was going for. Um, 
But yeah, the way how I done it was just do black over it and then erase where the tattoos were. But I didn't really like it, so I just ended up carrying on. <laughs> With the halo, literally the exact same process as the tattoos, going into blending options, outer glow, inner glow, stroke, all that. Um, and then I found this particle image, just changed the blending option to screen mode so the black disappears. And then I just warped the same image again at the top and then just like stretched it out a bit. And yeah. Okay, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> yeah, that's all I actually recorded. Uh, it was one of them ones when you start designing and then you sort of just like think you're done and then you play around with it a little bit after you've like maybe finished recording or whatever and you're like, ah, actually, that's kind of sick. So anyway, this is the final outcome. So there you go, that was the final outcome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm really happy with the outcome personally, uh, without blowing my own trumpet and that. Um, but yeah, if you wanna know like the particles moving at the end on the image, let me know and I can do like a little Premiere Pro tutorial. Um, if you guys wanna like ask for any tutorials, then also, cause um, I, I, I know like a little bit about each Adobe program, so I can do like a little bit of everything. Um, so yeah, if you wanna do that, then let me know and sick all right uh save you lot hopefully uh yeah i'll make another video all right cool <laughs>